Scott Mike from the Pal Kids, and in anticipation of my 500th review, I made a list of some of my favorite movies. I watch a lot of movies, and it really bugs me when people ask me questions like, my favorite movie. So I made a list of 10 movies. I chose these movies because they influenced me, they piqued my interest in other movie genres, or I quote the hell of these movies on a daily basis. It was really hard for me to make this list, and unfortunately, a lot of my favorite movies didn't make the list. The first movie on my list is Gremlins. It was a hard choice between Gremlins or Jurassic Park. I chose Gremlins because I watched this a lot as a child, and it really piqued my interest in puppetry and in animatronics. The next movie on my list is Cheech and Chong Up in Smoke. I grew up watching this movie with my father, and there's not very many movies we used to watch together. So I picked this movie because it opened my eyes to stoner comedy and raunchy comedy. The next movie on the list is Night of the Living Dead. Unfortunately, I can't find my copy of the film right now, but it's one film that made me want to write and direct my own horror movie. The next movie on the list is Pulp Fiction. I'm a big Quentin Tarantino fan, and it probably would have been a lot easier to tell you the films of his I don't like easier than the ones I do like. I picked Pulp Fiction because it was the first one I've seen, and it sticks with everybody who sees it. It also opened my eyes to exploitation movies and grindhouse films. It's Frankenstein. It really introduced me to the Universal Monsters. So we made it to number five, SLC Punk. As a punk fan, this movie stuck with me in high school because I could relate to it. And I'm really excited for the upcoming sequel. The movie on the list is Ghostbusters. If you grew up in the 80s, you've seen this movie. It is a staple of the 80s. And if you're around my age, you probably had the toys, the video games, and the bed sheets as well. And still to this day, you would want to be a Ghostbuster too. The next movie on the list is The Big Lebowski. Now, when I first seen this movie, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but it grows on you. With the amazing cast of Jeff Bridges and John Goodman, the one-liners, I end up quoting this movie all the time. Not least from my favorite movie director, Kevin Smith, I chose Mallrats. I'm a big fan of all of Kevin Smith's work, but Mallrats is the one that sticks out to me. So there you have it, 10 of my favorite movies. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, follow me on Twitter, and for geek news, movie reviews, and everything in between, check out the Pale Kids on Facebook.